Okay, so you made it through all of this. Now what? <laughs> where, where do you go first? What's the next thing you need to do? Here's, here's what I would tell you. Figure out what your constraints are going to be. Make sure you're not making it super complicated. You want to make sure it's simple. Think through this stuff ahead of time. Make sure it's flexible. Make sure you can, you know, morph with it. Be willing to drop some things, add to it, adjust it, etc. Be willing to be flexible with your system as it as it goes through. Make sure it can help you build habits. Like that is to me something is super important. Whatever I build is a habit and it happens every single day. That's where a lot of that value comes from. I have found that having my system connect to all my other tools is vital. Once I understand how to do that well, it's super important of, to be able to connect it to other projects. You really got to decide on your tags. To me, you really got to think through this one ahead of time. Of course, we've talked about this. I don't use them. If you're going to use them, think about it ahead of time. You know, what are your ways of working that will allow you to make those decisions ahead of time? And will that work out well for you in the long run? Can you plan your day ahead of time? You know, are you able to do that? Are you able to make those decisions ahead of time? Or do you have to deal with things as they come up? You know, do you have to deal with distractions and interruptions on a regular basis? So what I would start with here is once you have some of that philosophy nailed down, what your constraints are going to be, build out your project structure. What is that going to look like for you? I like having things separated. I like having my areas of focus there. I have found that particular structure in a lot of people's systems what is it going to be for you? Do you want to just start with what I have and then build off of it? Do you want to start with something else that someone else has and build off of that? Do you want to start something brand new for you? What is it going to be? Make sure you have that decided. Are you going to do tags or not? You know, I keep asking this question. I use none. Uh, but what are they going to be? You really have to make that decision ahead of time before you start getting into trouble. But once you have your project structure in place, once you know your tag structure, Iterate on it. Be willing to decide if it's going to be something you're going to keep or you're going to make changes to it on a weekly basis or maybe even on a daily basis at the beginning. Look at your overall system and how's it going? You know, is it working? What doesn't work? Are you struggling to capture? Are you struggling to review? Why? And what do you do about it? You know, these are questions you need to ask yourself in order to make sure that it's continuing to get better. On a weekly basis, I'm deciding if I have the right structure in place and I make changes to it. That's fine. It's just the life of the system and it will continue to morph and change over time. Now, that all said, if you're still struggling with how to take the next step, how to build your structure, I do offer some coaching. Um, I can meet with you one-on-one. -on -one. We'll do a video call and we'll help you get your system put in place. And I can help you build that out. It's not going to be something where I have a cookie cutter set up and it's going to work out specifically for everybody. That doesn't happen. I've worked in a lot of corporate scenarios where what I have in my system just simply would not work. You know, there's too much email involved. There's too many things that come up each day. So it's, it's different. You have to be willing to adjust and morph your system according to that. And again, if you need help with it, I can, I can come alongside you and help you do that. So take those next steps. What is your system going to look like? Think about it ahead of time. Think about how you're going to use it ahead of time and make those decisions on how you're going to use the system and be willing to change and morph it over time.